everyone, and welcome to our channel, or hers and mine, I yeah. should say. Because <laughs> uh, uh, so today we are doing a quiz challenge. Um, we've seen the Super Carlton Brothers doing this, yes. and we challenged each other, and we actually had a lot of fun. It was really fun. Um, we are going to be testing each other on our knowledge of Harry Potter series, and my head. <laughs> but it keeps falling. Um, I know I'm, I'm only up to five. Yeah, she hasn't actually read all the books yet. No. So I'm actually doing the Back to Hogwarts quiz medium. Um, whereas if I was going up against someone who had the same knowledge as I did, mm -hmm. I would probably go with the hard. Yeah. I figured um, that this was uh, fair ground because it's not too hard for her, but not too easy for me. Oh, okay. Because there was also the easy one, but mm -hmm. I like that one would probably be way too easy for me. Yeah, if and we're... possibly me too. Yeah. So, so, it's only fair. Uh, we are doing the Pottermore's Back to Hogwarts quiz medium. Okay. Whom do Harry, Jenny, and Neville join in a Hogwarts Express compartment at the beginning of Harry's fifth year. The thing is, is that I actually can't see the answers. My microphone is in the way. <laughs> so, I'm actually going um, to be doing all these off the top of my head. Right, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Luna. Miss... Fifth year. Oh, I'm <laughs> so dumb. I'm so uh, dumb. I was not thinking that. The I correct was... answer is Luna. I was thinking of, um... When the... Oh, because it's Ginny, right? Okay. Yeah. I feel stupid. No, um, and that when Ginny and Neville joined them later on when the power yeah. goes out. Yeah. And what serious. type of quill does wizarding journalist Reader Skeeter favor? Can you see mine? No. Okay. I'm looking directly <laughs> at my thing, so I can't. Like, I, okay. You ready? Yes. Great. Three, two, one. Quick, Quick quotes. quotes. Okay. Yeah. Alright. I told you I remember. Correct. The divination classroom is at the top of which Hogwarts Tower? I'm, I'm thinking, I was like, I remember them as names, not north, south, east, and west. I'm pretty sure they mentioned it in the book. I remember it's like there's a Hogwarts, the um, Gryffindor Tower, Ravenclaw Tower, oh, I see what you Astronomy mean. Tower. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to take a guess at this because I cannot. I know, I'm stuck between two. If I'm totally wrong, I'm gonna cry. Okay, I'm just gonna click on the top one. Okay, ready? Six. Three, two, one. East West. Tower. Uh, north. It is the North Tower. I was gonna say South. <laughs> Hagrid's full title is Gang Keeper of Keys at Hogwarts. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. True. False. Oh, uh, what? Um, oh, yeah. In Harry Potter, it is discovered to be Keeper of Keys and Grounds at Hogwarts. That's right. it! I knew it! I knew it! Damn, I, for some reason, I thought it was just the Keeper of Keys, but then I remember, now I remember, he says, Keeper in the, even in the Grounds Even in the first, yeah, Harry Potter, oh, I said, did I say Prison of Azkaban or Philosopher's Stone? Uh, you I don't said remember. Chamber of Secrets, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, because um, he, when he introduces himself to yeah. Harry, he says, um, Rubius Hagrid, Keeper of Keys and Grounds at Hogwarts. Hogwarts. Yeah. Who wrote the Hogwarts textbook, A, Mag A History of Magic? Oh, how do you spell the name? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the only reason I'm scrolling down to the answers. I need to see how to spell the name. Uh, I'm taking a guess. I think it's mentioned in the books I've read. It's mentioned in the first one. When yeah. Harry is going through his reading list. Yeah. It's listed there. And, which uh, it is funny because, um, was it... I think it was recently you found you because you only just start, recently started reading the Harry Potter series, but yeah. you found it funny that fa the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them was an actual book in the Harry Potter series, yeah. written by Newt Scamander. Okay, yeah, you ready? Yeah, three, two, one. Bathilda Bagshot. That's what I said too. I was right. 
I took the most wildest guess and I did that one. Okay. True or false? The spell to reverse the effects of Lumos is Nox. I only know this because I know my Latin. Okay. Read three, two, one. True. True. Question seven. In his first class with Professor Slughorn, Harry wins a tiny glass bottle of what? Okay, I'm going to write both down just to be on the safe side. Ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Felix. Felix Felix Felicis. I wrote liquid luck originally. So I was like, oh. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Liquid luck. They're the same thing, just different. I thought so. Okay, so that is the right answer. Yeah. Select all that apply. Which substance is not known to be used for making one course? Three, two, one. Hippogriff feathers. feathers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's never. What? What? Dragon hair. Oh, isn't it dragon? Oh, dra dragon heart string. Right. Oh, wow. When did they mention heart Hi hippogriff? When did yeah. They... That has to be something that's only mentioned in Pottermore. That has to be true or false. Nifflers are mostly, most often kept for guarding properties. Oh, Nif. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, what on earth is a nipple? <laughs> it's, it's a fantastic beast. Um, oh. It's a fantastic beast knowledge. Um, Correctly. All right, ready? Three, two, one. True. true. Okay, we both say true. False. Oh. During Harry's first transfiguration lesson, Professor McGonagall transforms her desk into which animal? And because I just finished reading Prisoner of A- Take a lot away now. Philosopher's Stone. I know which one it is. <laughs> oh, God. Per I, 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 I've honestly, I think I've done that twice now. It said Prisoner of Azkaban instead of Philosopher's Stone. Yep, okay, I think I'm ready. Or, uh, what is the American version of it? Sorcerer. Sorcerer's Stone. Yes, yeah, Sorcerer's Stone. Okay. I'm just gonna click on the first one. Okay. It is a pig. Oh, I clicked on the second one. Oh, yeah. So, oh. I said pig. It's a cat. <laughs> I wanted to say pig. I should I should go with my gut now, not my mind. Who said, I was ready to risk everything for him. I was ready. It was my dream, my greatest ambition to serve him, to prove myself to him. Okay. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Barty Lee Crutch Carol. Jr. Ooh. <laughs> right. It was Barty uh, Crouch Jr. Well, I was stuck between the two because I know it was said about Voldemort. Yeah. It, it, I had to, like, looking at the list of names, too, because it's like Bellatrix, Barty, Lucius, and Wormtail. Yeah. And I'm like, well... My two was actually between Bellatrix and Barty. Because it was, um, I was ready to risk everything for him. I was ready. It was my dream, my greatest ambition. And I'm like, his two of his biggest followers were Bellatrix and Barty. I mean, and then it's like, well, Barty was the one he counted on in mm -hmm. Goblet of Fire to try to get Harry so that Voldemort could capture him and yeah, kill him and everything. Yeah, that's true. So, um... But I was thinking... Because <laughs> it's not until later on down the line does Wormtail join forces with him. Yeah. Well, I was thinking um, Wormtail because he's a, he's always been a lawful servant. Not always. No, well, not always, but I mean, like, yeah. he, it, he gave up the Potters, yes. Yeah. But it's not until after the defense of Prisoner of Azkaban, got it right that time, <laughs> that he actually joined forces with Voldemort. Right. Select all that apply. Which of the following are Hogwarts ghosts? Nearly headless. How can you be nearly, nearly headless? headless? Like this. <laughs> no. Who actually says that line? Uh, Hermione. In the movies, yes. In the book, it's Seamus. Or Seamus. Seamus. You see, the thing is, is that... 
depending on where you're from, it depends on how that name is said. Yeah, that's true. Okay. So, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Ronina and Nanli have a snake. Wh which one are house ghosts? Okay, I have Fat Friar, the Grey Lady, and Nearly Headless Nick. Rowena Ravenclaw is in a ghost at Hogwarts. Oh. So this is what I was saying. You got one. So that would maybe give you one point, but then I got all of them right. So you get the point. I, okay, so then you don't get a point no. and I do. Okay. Because <laughs> I totally... Basically, totally got it wrong. Okay. How does Professor Trelawney spell her first name? <laughs> oh, that's a. Oh, that that that's mean. That is mean. <gasps> Why you like this? I don't know. I, uh, okay. Sorry, I got I got Michael McIntyre stuck in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah. <sighs> um. Okay, I got mine. Okay. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. I have Sybil, Sybil with an S and one L. I have Sybil with a C and one L. That's super great. We just both have like the top ones. Uh, oh, S, S with two L's. Was, oh, but I don't get the point because that's technically wrong. Yeah. True or false, the students and teachers of Bobaton and Durmstrang arrive at Hogwarts on Halloween. Because I'm not even at that part yet. I'm still at the beginning of chapter five. Um, no, th th this is a Goblet of Fire. You're on Order of the Phoenix. Oh, right. That's the fourth one. Oh, I don't remember. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, that's... Uh, oh. I don't remember. I think. I hope I'm remembering the right. Okay, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. True. True. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. What? What? Uh. No, they arrive on the 30th. Right? Oh, oh my gosh. No, oh. I forgot because they arrive on the 30th and they have their giant feast. And yes. then the next day they yes. have the Halloween feast. Right. Oh. This is stupid. Which of the following is not a book written by Gilderoy Lockhart? If it were used for this one. Oh, I was just about to start reading uh, Chamber of Secrets too. Oh yeah? Like, it's sitting on my desk right here. I was about to read it. Chamber okay. of Secrets too. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, you ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Dating with ghouls. Um, they go with vampires. Voyage. That's what I meant. Voyage. <laughs> uh, trouble oh. with trolls. Oh my gosh. Okay. Which question is this? Because I'm going to feel really bad. This was 15. Oh my god. <laughs> don't, don't, don't look. That's not our actual one. Okay. Although mine is pretty much bad. I didn't keep track. I got seven. I don't remember because I didn't keep track. <laughs> but we'll have the score. Yeah, we'll have the score down below for you guys to see. Um... I feel like I didn't know as much as I thought I did. <laughs> I I feel like some of those were you had to read Pottermore to know them. Yeah. And then the other ones, it's just like, how attentive were you to the reading, to the book list? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that last, like, like th that last one, though, it was just like, because, huh? like, there are so many books from him that they, yeah. have, they have to get that year. But it's just like, okay, that's weird. Uh -huh. <laughs> and some of these questions were like, yeah. and it, like some of them were like really easy. Yeah, some of them were like very simple, yeah. and it's like, oh, I know this, or like Sybil with two L's. Yeah, it's like, I think we only ever see her name like once, once or twice yeah. in the series, and I think that's only because it's um, I think she says her name is Sybil Tre Trelawney, 
in Prisoner yeah. of Azkaban when we first meet her. Yeah. And then Dumbledore s- says her name in Order of the Phoenix after she gets fired. I wouldn't know that. Oh, Order of the Phoenix. I'm at that book right now. Yeah. I mean, it happens in the movie, too. Wow. Oh. You know how five, six... Oh, no, I got eight! <laughs> I can't count! <laughs> okay, let's just make it clear. I'm not trying to make myself seem better. I got eight. <laughs> okay, eight divided by 15... 53. Okay, That's... so I passed. I passed! <laughs> now the question uh, is, did I pass? No, because you go... You either got this... You got less than me, I think. Cause I was not a- by much, though. I got a lot more right than you think I did. Probably. I don't know. Anyway, um... We'll figure it out. We'll, yeah, we'll figure it out in the end. Uh, marks will be down below, as well as uh, her percentage. I might post mine as well. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> just toss it on my bed. <laughs> anyway, we hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Yes. If you have, please hit that like button, comment, and share. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and notification button to stay up to date with all the videos we both post. And we'll see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone. Bye. To the lounge and have some fun of your own. Honey. He is a kid.